In the year 2000, after the tales of Windows code name Uranus and Neptune, a new operating system emerged from the inner depths of the technological realm. It was called, Windows code name Pluto, an operating system that was said to have been named after Pluto, which was then considered the ninth planet from the Sun at the time, only to be demoted to a dwarf planet six years after the operating system's release. Rumors began circulating on the internet forums claiming that codename Pluto possessed powers far beyond human imagination, and that it was a gateway to a sinister realm far beyond human imagination, it could manipulate reality into its own realm and that it could manifest people's worst nightmares in the form of a video. It was a project at Microsoft that was being developed for Windows operating systems with planet-themed codenames. It is the next operating system on the line after Windows code name Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The project had been abandoned as it was deemed way too dangerous to fix the operating system right away. As the whispers of Pluto's own existence spread throughout the Internet community, a group of engineers at Microsoft were at the time trying to test the system, only to find out that code name Pluto had strange glitches that they could not fix right away. They claimed to have reported problems such as files and desktop icons moving around on their own, strange whispers emanating from the computer's speakers, screens often flickering and brightening, cryptic error messages often displaying, and the background changing to show disturbing imagery whenever nobody was around, as if the operating system had a mind of its very own. Fast forward to today. As a software developer at Microsoft, I was hired to work for patches to fix the glitches in tampered Windows operating systems such as Codename Nexus, Windows Shadowgate, Windows Vive, Codename Rift, Codename Mars, the Disney OS, Codename Daytona, Windows 99, Windows 6, Windows Whistler Server, Codename Uranus, Codename Neptune, and many others. What a mouthful. I had worked so hard with numerous software developers to create the patches to the glitches in lost operating systems. Until then, something big happened. Microsoft had finally announced the release of an operating system enhancement product titled, Microsoft Enhancement Patches for Fixing Bugs in Tampered Windows Operating Systems. A very exciting development that would finally fix the glitches in cursed operating systems that had been previously reported to have the strange glitches in them, like the glitches in the code name Pluto system. So I came to an old computer with the Pluto operating system in it and tested it to see if the patches work. The boot screen looked the same as the Windows 2000 logo, with the text reading Microsoft Windows code name Pluto on it. Even the startup sound was the same one used in Windows 2000. When the system finished booting, I began to report the strange glitches that the software had. So I tried to get a USB drive that would install the patches in the system, but once I plugged the USB drive in, something unsettling began to happen. During the installation process of the patches, the system kept sending out cryptic error messages appearing to be warning signs not to install the patches. I ignored the warnings, and the computer began to reset itself and the patches were being installed. Once the patches finished installing, I could finally feel a sigh of relief that the glitches in Pluto had stopped and I could use it without worrying about those forces who tried to make anomalous Windows versions have these glitches. To this day, the nightmare of Windows code name Pluto continues to haunt some people to this day, waiting to appear in their nightmares soon. Don't dare to come across its grip, or there will be no escape from it.